But part of being in shape, before you ever start any exercise program, you should always consult with a physician, a doctor, to make sure that you're okay. And I think one of the things that we tend to neglect, especially as we start to mature, um, our checkups, and our checkups especially related to heart prevention and stroke prevention. And at times I think we just feel like, ah, it can never happen to me. Well, you know what? Dr. Marouche from the University of Utah Karma Center, he is the director of the Karma Center, is with us this morning, and he says, ah, don't get so comfortable because there can be a lot of damage and you don't even realize it because you haven't had any effect of it. Or maybe we have had a side effect and don't realize it. Dr. Marouche, thank you so much for coming in with us this morning. Thank you for inviting but me. The Karma Center, explain to everyone, it is an acronym. And tell us what that acronym stands it for. It stands for the Comprehensive Arrhythmia Research and Management Center. Um, so the Karma Center was established on the, to focus on one disease, mainly called atrial fibrillation. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the most common uh, heart rhythm disorder in the world. Uh, more than 80% of the heart rhythm disorders are due to atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is responsible for more than 20% of the strokes in the world. One out of five patients go to the emergency room with stroke is due to AFib or atrial fibrillation. Okay. It kills around 66,000 people in America alone every year. It's a and, lot of people in a year. And time. cause heart failure and associated with uh, rapid heartbeats, any time if you, any kind of rapid heartbeats, bad or good, uh, uh, shortness of breath, chest pain, all this kind of symptoms could be associated with atrial fibrillation. Now the Karma Center established something unique at the University of Utah over the last two years, mm -hmm. which is focusing on detection and better management of, the, of this disease. Because today, uh, instead of uh, giving you, putting you in a pool, oh, you have the, this disease, you need to be treated this way or this way, we triaging the patient to the best treatment option based on a simple MRI scan that we to find that the Karma Center at the well, University of Well, and I think, too, don't you feel like a lot of people probably feel like this is something that just happens automatically. There's just something that's abnormal about the heart. Exactly. And so all of a sudden you have a stroke or you have a heart attack. That's not the case. This is something that builds up over time in years and, and years and years and years. And it can be prevented. Exactly. It can be prevented if you catch it early enough. Fantastic. This is, you put it in a fantastic way. So that is what we're trying to do at the university. And we established this over the last two years. And we're trying to bring this all to the world. So this is an example I brought me for you in one slide here uh, with me to show you what we're doing. So this is our four different stages of this disease that we can, okay. that we can look at today here at the University of Utah with an MRI scan. So the, 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 we call it the Utah 1, Utah 2, Utah 3, or Utah 4 classification. Okay. And this helps us look at the tissue instead of taking the heart of the body, cutting in pieces, and looking at the cells. Now I can tell you based on MRI scan, how bad is your regular heartbeat, how bad is your disease, and, and what, treat you appropriately. And what you want to be able to show people is that what they're seeing in the green. In the green, the exactly. The green is what you don't want to see. We, we like the clear blue picture. You can, if you hold that up again, they can see that. But you, the clear blue picture is exactly what you want. That's exactly. a healthy heart. Exactly. And, the, and this is not only that your chance of being cured, for example, with an ablation procedure, if you are Utah 1 or Utah 2, but the chance of stroke, of having a stroke, is higher if you ask Utah 3 or Utah 4. That's why it's important for people who have any kind of cardiac arrhythmia to look at, let their heart be checked, mm -hmm. at least with, the, with a simple test, a Holter monitor or an MRI scan, to look at this classification and hopefully uh, protect them long term early on before they uh, get, uh, uh, as, you, as you put it together, uh, get uh, atrial fibrillation without knowing because 30% of the atrial fibrillation patients have no symptoms. The first symptoms could be a stroke. Is a stroke yeah. or a heart attack. So we could, have, we could be walking around with a heart that has as much damage as the green right now. Exactly. And so we're just a ticking time bomb. Exactly. And, and there's something else I wanted to mention that we uh, educating all the people for that specific ex example you just put in place. We're putting on the 19th of May at the Salt Lake City Library uh, we invited uh, Melanie Truhels, uh, uh, the, the, the founder of StopAFib.org and, uh, and, and a woman advocate, to, she's a survivor of an ablation procedure for AFib. Okay. She's coming to help us uh, uh, put the session together for everybody in Utah. 
uh, to look at the prevention of the disease of atrial fibrillation and better educate people how to manage that disease. So everybody is invited to join us on that uh, on that day, 19th of May at 5.30 in the evening. Okay, so it's at 5.30 on May 19th at the Salt Lake City mm -hmm. Library. Yes. And, you know, is there are there some specific things that we should be watching for, or is there a specific age that we should go and have this MRI done? It, um, that's a fantastic question. This is, if you are, if you have anybody in the family, if you know anybody in the family, because atrial fibrillation could be in some cases genetically okay. uh, uh, oriented. So if you have anybody in the family, you know anybody in the family with a risk of stroke or atrial fibrillation or heart disease, you should get your chef, yourself checked when you are 40, 45, or 50. That uh, early on then? That, that early for stress test, a halter monitor, or just check your MRI. If you don't have any risk factors, then you, when you are 50 years old, uh, without any known arrhythmia, it's okay to start checking back then. This is, this is something we're promoting for the world today to hopefully adopt. Simple test, no radiation, you know, yeah. MRI scan, everybody, everybody been there, right. uh, uh, especially in Park City with uh, a lot of uh, and oh, problems. Knee and so yes, absolutely. Knows it's, it's, and the lab that we built at the University of Utah, by the way, it's the number one in the world, the first of its kind. Okay. And now we have around 30 centers worldwide trying to adapt this concept from the University of Utah. Oh. Uh, and that's why our team, which is now 48 people of research, looking at this only has been traveling around and educating people around the universe. So now on the 19th, on May 19th, when people are coming to um, this event, will they be able to give, be given some preventative measures that, I mean, are there some things that we can do to kind of prevent we have, uh, this we type have, of disease? That's exactly, uh, this is, uh, thank you for this input as well. We have uh, a, a program, a preventive program for, we were going to introduce for people on that day okay. in terms of what's the next step, uh, who should come for this test, and we're helping a lot of people to recheck their heart or have a halter monitor. And uh, talking about prevention, unfortunately, not like uh, today, and that's why we're looking at the cells, as I showed you green, and thanks for reminding me about the green and blue. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, looking at the cells now, uh, we have an opportunity to see what's going on with this arrhythmia from outside without opening the heart, as I said before. So mm -hmm. now we have multiple ways of hopefully preventing this disease because we know that tissue is doing a certain point. So we can maybe uh, uh, look at the progression of this disease with time uh, every two years. If somebody have this screen, what happens to it? If we, for example, uh, train more or exercise more okay. or or maybe take a certain uh, drug or, or maybe take uh, a, a less glass of wine a day or, okay. or more uh, chocolate and less uh, That's peppermint. That's not a bad option, huh? <laughs> but uh, just today we have the first time in, in, in history the opportunity to look at the cells based on this uh, modality that we defined at the University of Utah Division of Cardiology and the Karma Center. So we were very happy to finally brought the disease to the next Step Which of I think research. has been, that's been the killer, hasn't it? Is the fact that it's not been caught in enough time. Atrial fibrillation is, I call it, a sneaky and disease that sneaks into your life, hits you with a stroke. Okay. It's the first symptoms in 30% of the people. And the symptoms are not very clear. Okay. It could be a rapid heartbeat, it could be just shortness of breath, you're walking on the bed, so I'm tired today, it wasn't yesterday, maybe it's too dry, or maybe it's a, mm -hmm. a, a full moon today. That's you why make I'm up trying. excuses, don't uh, Exactly. We? So uh, please check yourself, at least with an e ECG or AKG or a halter monitor. And now uh, for people who have uh, risk factors, uh, or at least if they detect the disease, they should have an MRI scan uh, to look at their tissue, the green and the blue. Yeah, I, I think that's a great idea, and I think that's great information. And they can find out more on May 19th, 5.30, Salt Lake City Library. I would encourage you to get there. You know what, if it runs in your family, and in this day and time, we're all under a lot of stress, and we don't realize that's a factor, isn't it? That's exactly the stress factor. that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is also a factor as to what can happen damaging that tissue around your heart. It's and been so. proven that stress increases heart tissue damage, especially and induce and starts arrhythmias, well, especially atrial fibrillation. Yeah, it's it's so important. We appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank, Thank you, you so much for the information. And don't forget, it is May 19th, 5.30 p.m., Salt Lake City Library. Get there and get all the information that you possibly can. Find out about this very sneaky disease, as Dr. Marush told you. Very, very sneaky. It can creep up on you, and you don't know that it's even coming. So try to prevent that. We have so much more coming up for you on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll hope you'll stay right where you're at. We'll be back right after this short break.